Well, ain't she sweet? See you walking down the street. I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Ain't she nice? Look her over just once or twice. I ask you confidentially, ain't she nice? Cast an eye in her direction. From your mind, ain't that perfection? I think she's kind of sweet I'm asking very confidentially Ain't she sweet? Yeah So Bob, do you think anyone's going to realize that we're spoofing the Antiques Roadshow feedback booth? Don't worry, no one's watching anyway First to put your two knees close up tight Swing to the left, swing to the right Step around the floor Twist around, twist around with all your mind. Spread your loving arms way out in space. Then you do the eagle rock, the style of wrist. Put your left foot out, bring it back. That's what I call born a jack. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Still Trying, show number, what show are we on? 258. 258, what he said. What? It's amazing, all these wonderful shows. All right, all these mediocre shows. All right, all these rotten Push shows. Push your left foot out. Oh, we got another one for you. Back. That's what I call ball a jack. Yeah, hi, Crazy Henry. Hello, Banjo Bob. How's you doing there? Uh, it's great to Ooh. see you again. You too. We're up here in beautiful Mamaroneck, New York, mm -hmm. or just off Boston Post Road at the LMC TV studio. Well, don't tell them where we are in case they want to come get us. I wish mm -hmm. someone would come get us. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We have one person besides you and me in the studio. We'll have all the interior decorators of the world out to get us, I think. Yes. Okay. Wow. Now, uh, why don't we start with a medley? You start. Okay, you got it. From the Duke of Ellington. <laughs> you must take the A train to find the quickest way to Harlem. If you miss the A train, you'll find you've missed the quickest way to Harlem. Hurry, get on now, it's coming. Listen to those rails a humming. Oh boy, get on the A train, find the quickest way to Harlem. Let's hear that trombone. Shakes ten cents a piece. They kiss you and hug you nice. Five jingle it's worth the price. Back and back and sack of the bills, treat your back and women wake your back and you will. Ladies and gentlemen, Crazy Henry is now playing with his nose. Before he had a nose job, he didn't have to bend over to do that. Fujiyama, you get a mama, then your troubles increase. Ain't so for goes, you know, so they hurt shakes, for shakes, ten cents apiece. They kiss you and hug you nice. Why jiggle, what's worth the price? Back and I can say, with a fellow shoot your back in the women, wicky wacky. Back and I can say, with a fellow shoot your back in the women, wicky wacky. You had to throw in that woo. You always have to get the last word in, don't you? I do not. Mm. Why don't you do something to help me? I'm sorry, Ollie. I was only 
drawn to help <laughs> We'll be just as happy as two peas in a pot. That pot? Pod de. Pod de. Can't help it. I love Laurel and Hardy. Okay. So, now, Bob, yeah. we've had some requests. Oh, we did have requests. Does Missy have a request? Asking us to knock it off is not really a request. No. Okay. We had a request from a man in the um, in the booth, Peter. Peter? He wanted to hear uh, what the sounds of silence. Wait, I, wait a oh, minute. Jeepers Creepers. That's right. All right. Who asked for the sounds of silence? Everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Peter, this one's for you. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers, creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Gal show get up, where'd you get those lit up? Gal show get up, how'd they get that size? Golly gee, when you Woe is me I got to turn my cheetahs on Cheaper, 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 creeper Where'd you get those peepers? All those weepers How they hypnotize Where'd you get those eyes? Let's hear For Peter, now is Peter directing today or? Uh, no. It's what? Yes, our beloved uh, director okay. is Sean Kelly. Technical director. Yes, yes. Well, this is uh, Sean's nap time, actually. I don't think he's doing anything. Uh, frankly, I don't blame him. He takes him. his nap during our show. Now He says there's nothing going on out here anyway, so we've he's got a point. We've instituted a new feature here on Still Trying. By the way, if you're watching us on cable access TV, thank you for watching. All I can tell you is... Whatever time you're watching now, we don't know when it will be. Come back a no, week later. By the time this airs, yeah, it'll be a. It'll, it'll be in a new new time. Don't mention. We don't want to alert yeah. anybody. That's right. Okay. And now, you'll you'll just have to surf around to find us. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bob, we've instituted a new feature that even you don't know about. Oh, really? Yes. Every show we have a musical question. Okay, uh -huh. for example, one of the musical questions is my wedding song, Who's Sorry Now? Oh, cut that out. Luckily, my wife, Pat, doesn't watch. And <laughs> yeah. the other, the, but the musical question of, of this week is, how could you believe me when I told you that I love you when you know I've been a liar all my life? That's such a long title. The show's over now. We don't have time Fortunately, to do there's never been a song with that title, he said. <laughs> Wrong piano breath. <laughs> you have a song with from Royal Wedding. Royal. I just saw it recently. Yeah, um, Fred Astaire sings it. Really? Yeah. Now, would you like me to do it? I, mm -hmm. I would. <laughs> well, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I dropped my pick. Hooray! <laughs> Wait a minute, wise guy. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, we don't know about you out there in TV land, but we're having a good time. <laughs> How could you believe me when I said I loved you when you know I've been a liar all my life? I had that reputation since I was a youth. You must have been insane to think I'd tell you the truth. How could you believe me when I said we'd marry when you know I'd rather hang than have a wife? I know I said I'd make you mine. Who would know that you would fall for that old lie? How could 
could you believe me when I said I loved you when you know I've been a liar all my life? There, who I, I think used to dance a little too. A didn't little he? bit, yes. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Screen test, That's oh. right. His original screen test when he he went out to uh, to uh, to take a screen test. They didn't know him because he was a Broadway star, so he had to take a screen test, and it read balding, can't sing, dances a little. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> what a swell reviewer that guy was. <laughs> Yes. Probably, yeah, long dead. Well, yeah, we're long dead, too. What, when did we pass? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, we're still around. Our public doesn't know that. Oh. <laughs> now, we'd like to say ho them. hello to our viewer, Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob O'Connor and Joan. Oh, yes, they, Bob. They watch the show. Ken and Roseanne Bohm. Santa Claus George. Peter Crescido. Yes. Also had a request. Really? Yeah, and it just popped into my mind. You never know what's going to pop into this mind. What's the request? Some of the things that pop in I could be arrested for. Boy, I was, um, uh, oh, the song that has so many verses, Mac the Knife. Oh. Remember, Bobby? No, I've never memorized all the words to Mac the Knife, but I think we'll do it anyway. How, how can we do it anyway if you don't know all the well, words? Uh, actually, this uh, Mac the Knife is one song where you really don't even know. You need to know all the, the lyrics. I read in a magazine, this is true, when, when Bobby Darin went into the recording studio to record Mac the Knife in 1959, he had not yet um, memorized all the words. Wait a minute, but, how, how could he have a hit if he didn't know all the words? Well, he had a big hit on it. Um, whenever he came to a word or phrase that he couldn't remember, he just covered up by doing this. The shark has pretty teeth, dear, and it shows it pearly white. Ho, ho. Just a jackknife has old man Keith there, and it keeps it way out of sight. You know when that shark bites with his teeth, dear, ho. scarlet billows start to spread. Ho, ho. Fancy gloves wears old Maggie Bear. So there's never, never a trace of red. Did you hear about Louis Miller? He disappeared, babe, after drawing out all, all his hard earned cash. Now Maggie spins just like a sailor. Could it be our boys done something rash? Lucy Tawdry, ho, ho, hey, Jenny Diver, look out the Miss Allen and young man, oh, Lucy Brown, someone sneaking round that corner, could that someone be mad tonight, yeah, Lucy Tawdry, ho, ho, hey, Jenny Diver, look out the Miss Allen and young man, oh, Lucy Brown. Of Lindenhurst, 
Long Island. Now, we had a request from another Long Island man, the famous trainer, Charlie Cooper. Oh, yeah, I've heard of him. He's a good trainer. Yeah, he's got his own gym on Bellmead Road in Setauket. Is this a commercial? No. Oh, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay, Bellmead Road is a long... you know if it's a commercial, you know, they're going to... They're gonna Bleep you out. Oh, we've been bleeped many times. That's Charlie Cooper? Char Charlie Cooper, yes. He wants to He's hear... the one with all the muscles. Yes. He's, he's, yeah. Yes. Uh, he wants to hear What's Your Name by Don and Juan. Do we know that? No kidding. Well, I can be Don if you can be Juan. Well, if you mean that in a nice way, I'll be glad <laughs> to be Juan. Okay. Oh, well, let's see. Well, that was popular in about 1962, long yes. before you and I were born. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We'll try it. What's your name? What's your name? I've seen you before. What's your name? What's your name? May I see you to your door? It's so hard to find personality with charms like yours and me. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. What's your name? Is it Mary or Sue? What's your name? Do I stand a chance with you? It's so hard to find a personality with charms like yours and me. I stood by your doorstep waiting for you to come along. So my heart could be satisfied Please let me be your number one Under the moon, under the stars above What's your name? What's your name? Is it Mary or Sue? What's your name? Stand a chance with you. It's so hard to find a person out of tea with charms like yours for me. friend charlie cooper now please don't hurt us charlie yes he's a tough guy i, mean, I know muscles i know now i've got a lot of bulges but they're all in the belly okay wow. now we had another request which is uh, strange from yeah. one of our many many viewers <laughs> <laughs> your nose should be out to here for saying that they want to hear many, many. the hawaiian wedding song do you know the Hawaiian wedding song? <laughs> How come you're, you're asking for all these songs that I do? I don't know. Because he wants to take a nap, that's why. Well, they yeah, want you right. to do the Hawaiian Do you know the song? Uh, well, it, yeah, I think so. But it really wouldn't go well with the banjo. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that what you had? Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Wait. Bringing this stuff in. Wait, I thought I had something more. Matter of fact, I'm ashamed of us. Oh, there it is. Hmm. There it is. I found it. You, I've seen that ukulele before. I've seen it before. Yeah. All right. But you got to put on the... Oh, I'm getting... Uh, 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 garland. Uh, garlanded. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Know. You have to put them on. Uh, our sensor is here. Yes. <laughs> Missy. We, okay. Yes. So put on the Hawaiian garland. I haven't been la uh, uh, garlanded in a long time. Where? Where? Okay. Oh, is that it? The two of them. Okay. Do I look like Don Ho Ho Ho? Ho Ho Ho! See, first we go on TV and then we tune up. Is that you, Chef right. of the Future? You might want to retune this. I'm not very good. It's My Dog Has Fleas. And uh, I think fleas is a little flat. Oh, there you go. Not too many people know this, but Bob is a terrific um, 
uh, ukulele player. He's a terrific tenor guitar player. He's also a terrific writer because he wrote down one I'm reading just now. <laughs> okay. My pal. That's very good. I like that. You dropped one of your uh, garlands oh. by your left foot. Oh, okay. I, I, you know, I want you to get the full effect, Norton. Uh, I'm just not getting garlanded like I did when I was younger. Bob? <laughs> Wow, okay. We're on thin ice as it is. All right. Well, don't, don't you call these lays, actually? Yes, yes. Aren't they? Okay. But, uh, but I get garlanded. Right. Could you okay. uh, Hawaiian wedding song? Okay, we uh, tune? Close enough. Close enough, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Try C. This is the moment I've waited for I can hear my heart singing Soon bells will be ringing This is the moment Oh sweet Allah Promise me that you will leave me never I will love you longer than forever now that we are young, clouds won't hide the sun. Blue skies of Hawaii smile on this, our wedding day. I do, I do love you, love you with all my That was like an oasis of musical joy in a sea of, how shall I put Did this? Did you swallow a dictionary? No, but um, good taste uh, prevents me from finishing that thought. Oh, <laughs> good. All right, good. Would you yeah, like to do another one? Fun. Oh, sure. All right, how about uh, I like to go back to my little grass shack? Oh, in Calico, who? Yeah. Mm. All right, let's try the same key. Uh, no, uh, G, G. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealiku, Hawaii. We got five minutes. I want to be with all the connies and wahinis that I knew long ago. No, I saw you doing this. <laughs> you, you held up all the fingers. Well, oh, actually, you just had one up. What was that? Oh, that Hanu away. Yeah, I can hear the Hawaiians saying, Kealikawa, Kiekawo, Kiakie. It won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. A grand old place that's always fantasy. I'm just a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. Wanna go back to my fishing pot. Wanna go back to my little grass shack in Kialiku, Hawaii. Oh, where the homo homo no canoka fuka go swimming by. Where the homo homo no canoka fuka go swimming by. Yeah. Nicely done. Aloha, aloha, aloha. That's very nice. Take back your uke. Yes. Makes me want to. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. no these In are every good. show, we, nice. we do a follow the bouncing ball. We only have about, what, three minutes left? Well, we'll do it anyway. Okay. Maybe we could go out on that, okay? The, um, the song is uh, an old song, as opposed to all the other songs, called Down Among the Sheltering Palms. Oh, that's a, another Hawaiian, and the, right? Then I think our editor, Stephen, I'm not sure, will... Uh, Did he get out of jail? Bob, we have few friends here at LMC TV. I didn't know that. Do the song. What's that? He's a nice guy. He deserved a parole. <laughs> um, down on the show. Just take me down. Among the sheltering palms, oh honey, wait for me, wait for me. Don't be forgetting, we got a date out where the sun goes down about eight. How my heart is yearning, yearning, yearning. How my lips are burning, burning, burning to be down. Among the sheltering palms, oh honey, wait for me.
Thank you for tuning in to the Hawaiian Hour. <laughs> Down among the sheltering palms, oh honey, wait for me. Yeah. yeah. I don't dare look up at the monitor because if my wife's in the room, she says, you're looking at the monitor again. That's right. Well, I'll look at it for you. Okay. I'll say, well, we're doing all these Hawaiian songs. Right. Didn't you know someone, Princess Lakanuki? <laughs> Bob, please. I thought, all right. I thought. Okay. A quick piano solo. Okay. The Crazy Otto Red. Crazy Otto. Everybody sing along at home. Which is rare. <laughs> well, wow. then, uh, <laughs> well, oh, oh, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> no, no. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was crazy. Henry on the piano. And on banjo, it's banjo. Um, Bob. Uh, ba banjo Bob, yeah. Well, I think it was me that just got out of jail. Our camera person is Melissa Moak. <laughs>